With a 60% win rate, you have a 98% statistical certainty of losing six trades in a row. And that is exactly when most traders quit. But funded traders, they don't quit because they know something that you don't. I've helped hundreds of traders pass their first prop firm challenges and withdraw payouts by teaching them this exact mathematical framework. There are three calculations that determine whether any strategy can survive challenge rules. The first tells you if you're actually profitable. The second predicts your worst losing streaks. And the third shows whether you'll pass or fail a challenge before you even start. Now, most traders are just guessing at these numbers, or maybe even worse, they don't even know that they exist. I built a simulator that instantly calculates these numbers for your exact strategy. This is the same framework that professional quant traders use, and I'm giving it to you for free. But first, you need to understand what these three numbers mean for your trading. So let's start with calculation number one. See, most traders, they focus on the wrong thing. They're trying to chase those really high, you know, 60, 70, 80% win rates, or the other half of you are trying to bank those huge risk reward trades, you know, trying to go for 10, 15 R and try and bank those massive but infrequent winners. But it's the combination of both of these metrics is what you wanna focus on because that tells you your expectancy. Expectancy is the amount that you get paid to execute a trade in the long run. To calculate this, you get your average winners multiplied by your win rate and then your average loss times your loss rate. So how big are your winners times how often you win, how big are your losers times how often you lose. So let's take a coin flip for example, right? Let's say you win $1,000 with heads, you lose $1,000 with tails. If that was a trading strategy, you would have a 50% win rate with a one-to-one -one risk to reward ratio. So if we apply the expectancy formula, that means you end up making zero money in the long run, right? It's a fair coin flip, you have no long-term edge. Now, if we increase the amount that you win when you flip a heads to $2,000, you now have the same win rate, but you have now boosted your risk to reward for two to one. So now that exact same formula shows you that your expectancy is 500 pounds per flip, and now you have a proven profitable edge. So this is why win rate on its own is irrelevant, risk to reward is on its own is irrelevant. You need both combined to get your expectancy. Now, generally there are two profitability models, strategies with a higher win rate, right? So ones that win far more often than they lose, or strategies with a high risk reward. So these are the strategies that are trying to go for those big winners, right? And it makes up for their sort of more frequent small losers. This would typically be like a classic trend following strategy. So generally it is a trade-off between the two. You either go for high risk to reward and then you have a lower win rate, or you go for higher win rate and then you sacrifice the risk to reward. So this is another way to visualize it, right? Where that break even line is. If you go further up the left-hand side and you have a higher risk reward with those bigger winners, then your win rate can be a lot lower for you to break even or be profitable. And vice versa, if you go along the win rate curve, so you have a really high win rate, generally that's gonna have to come at sacrifice of your risk reward, okay? Because it's very hard to have a high win rate and a high risk reward. So we wanna be on the right-hand side of that break even line as that is where you're gonna be making money. Anywhere below it, that's where you're gonna be losing it. And to be more specific with your exact R multiple with your strategy, you can work out the required win rate to break even. So if you average a 3R multiple, you only need a 25% win rate to break even. And the formula is down there below if you want to calculate it yourself. So the expectancy formula actually summarizes one of the good trading cliches, which is trading is all about how much money you make when you're right and how much money you lose when you are wrong. So that is calculation number one, expectancy. You now know if you actually have an edge. But knowing that you have a profitable strategy doesn't actually mean you know you're going to pass challenges. And that is where calculation number two comes into play. And then once you understand all three calculations, that's where I'm going to show you the simulator that will calculate them all instantly for you. So here is a question that actually breaks most traders. If you have a 50% win rate, so a fair coin flip, how many losing trades in a row can you expect? Now, most traders that I ask, they usually say maybe three, like four at an absolute max, but they're dead wrong. Now, I remember my own wake up call with this. This is something that took me a, a long time to truly accept, but I promise you, once you actually get your head around this, this will make a huge, huge difference to your trading. So at the time I had just over a 40% win rate, you know, it was a solid edge, really good risk reward, but then I hit seven losses in a row, seven. And at that point, you know, I just started questioning everything, right? You know. It's not like back testing where you can just quickly trade through a whole month's worth of price action and you know maybe take seven losses in a row and you don't really think about it. 
Like when you're getting up early every morning, you get into your desk, you're doing your analysis, you're trying to be disciplined, you're watching three hours of live price action, you're during a session, then you do your markups, you review, you're journaling, you consistently do that week in, week out for like, let's say a month, and then you take seven losses in a row over that month. You know, that feels relentless. Is, is my strategy broken? You know, am I just reading the market wrong? Am I not, not up to this anymore? Like if I just completely lost my ability to trade, you know, has something changed? And my confidence was just completely in the bin. But then I had to run the math, and this is the second calculation, which is your maximum consecutive losses. And this is where random distribution comes in. So this table shows us the probability of losing a certain number of trades in a row within a thousand trade sequence, depending on your win rate. So I just wanna bring your eyes to, if you have a 40% win rate, right, which is quite a realistic win rate for most you know, retail trading strategies, you have a mathematical certainty at some point of experiencing 10 consecutive losing trades, right? 10 losing trades in a row within a large trade sequence, right? Now, I don't think any of us are gonna be able to execute perfectly those 10 losing trades without any negative thoughts coming into our mind about does my strategy work? You know, am I doing the right thing, right? It's tough, it's tough. Even if with a higher strike rate, let's say 60% win rate, you still have a 98%, so, which is basically a statistical certainty, you're gonna have seven losing trades in a row, okay? And when you get your head around this, and you truly accept the random distribution that you will have these large losing streaks, that is when you're gonna really break through to long-term consistency because it's gonna allow you to accept that losses are part of the game. They're literally baked into any statistical edge you have in the market. And therefore, when you're experiencing those losses, you can quickly remind yourself of this table, where your win rate is, and go, yes, as long as those trades meet my rules, then I keep executing, right? This is well within the variance of my edge. So why is it if you have a 50% win rate, you can still lose eight times in a row? Well, we can give all of that thanks to random distribution. And that is the random order in which winning and losing trades occur. So if you have a 50% win rate, we kind of subconsciously have this fantasy in our minds that like every other trade will be a winner and then a loser, right? But in reality, particularly in the short term, we can have long consecutive losing streaks. So this is the only area of successful trading where luck plays a role. So in the short term, your results can look nothing like your actual true edge, but over a large number of trades, that is when your real numbers will start to show up. So the law of large numbers that states that the more times that you execute your strategy, the closer your results will get to the expected outcome, right? If I can simplify this, basically if you take any number of traders with the exact same stats, so the same win rates, right? And the same risk rewards. Some of them could be really, really lucky at the start and go on really great winning streaks. And some of them are going to be really unlucky in the short term and they could immediately start on a huge losing streak. Okay. So in the short term, there is a lot of luck and randomness to your results, but you have to be able to keep executing consistently to see your true edge play out. Your edge only plays out if you survive long enough to let it. Now, I used to think that trading was about trying to predict the next move, but imagine trying to predict the next coin flip. You would drive yourself crazy and you know you have absolutely no influence over the outcome of each flip this is why traders fail it's not because they don't have an edge but because they can't mentally cope with the variance of their edge playing out it is very hard to handle the random losing streaks but losses are not failures they are literally part of your edge so now you know how to calculate your edge and your max consecutive losing streak but there's one more calculation that will determine if you'll actually pass or fail a challenge. Right, let's say that you have a strategy and you know that you can expect a maximum of eight consecutive losing trades in a row. But obviously, you know, you're not just gonna lose eight trades in a row and then suddenly go on a huge winning streak. You could lose those eight trades and then maybe you win one or two, but then you could go on another big losing streak again. So it's your total drawdown that accumulates over those losing streaks. So consecutive losses is how many losing trades in a row. A max drawdown is what is the deepest hole that you will dig before you can climb yourself out. And it's that expected maximum drawdown that is what tells you whether or not that you will actually pass the challenge or if you're gonna hit the risk limits. So let me show you this tool that I built to instantly calculate all three metrics for your strategy. So this is an equity curve simulation tool, and this is where you can input your strategy parameters and then it will run thousands of simulations to show you your expected metrics. So let's say you have a 40% win rate. Let's say you average a two to one risk reward ratio. And then let's say you risk 1% per trade. Let's say you average 10 trades per month. So in a year, that'd be around 120 trades. And then let's just say you start off with a $100,000 account okay now we run the simulation do that in about a second or so 
And here we have those key metrics and I've filtered it to the most probable, okay? So you can see if I scroll down that it runs all of these simulations here and you can see the spread of results when those trades are randomized in a random order. So you start off with 100K, after those 120 trades, on average, you can expect around a $25,000 return. Okay, so about 25.47% compounded uh, and the sort of uncompounded return, so that R return is 24R. Now expectancy is the first calculation we went through. So when you get your average winners, multiply by a win rate, plus your average losers, multiply by a loss rate. Okay, that tells us that for every trade we execute, we can expect to return 0.2R on average in the long run. Calculation number two was to look at your max consecutive losses. So this showed in this uh, Monte Carlo simulation that the average result was around a nine consecutive loss streak, right? And then you, the last calculation, the third calculation is your maximum drawdown. This shows you that uh, in 120 trades, you can expect around a 14% drawdown on average. Now you can look at the best result, okay? Which is obviously the results are way, way better. Look at that massive return or your worst result, huge drawdown there. Um, but those are very statistically unlikely. So you want to focus on the most probable uh, range there, which is that blue curve. And then if you want to go a little bit deeper, we do have a probability analysis here, which is dynamic depending on your results. What I would just really focus on is the uh, highest probability here uh, of 53% um, probability of getting a small gain between zero and 30% return there with this strategy. So I'll let you play around with this. Link in the description. You can get this absolutely for free. What I would just show you one more point before we move on is how sensitive your results can be, okay, depending on a few metrics. So let's say you keep the same win rate, you review your journal, and you find a way that you can improve your strategy by just 0.5R, right? So now 2.5R. Let's run the simulation and see what we get. You've now nearly doubled your return just by uh, adding that half an R to your, to your risk to reward ratio. Your drawdown has more than halved. Okay, your expectancy has doubled and your max consecutive losses have reduced. Okay, so you can see just those relatively small improvements to your strategy can make a huge difference to your expected return metrics. Okay, now the final point I make is use this calculator nearly every single day when you're trading and just remind yourself with your stats, okay, it's totally normal to expect these amount of consecutive losses in a row, right? This is the amount of drawdown I can expect. And this is extremely useful to ground yourself in reality of the variance of your edge. Not what you see on Instagram, not see these traders winning every day, but the true reality of professional trading is you will experience deep consecutive loss streaks and drawdowns even with a very, very profitable strategy. That is the reality. So calculation one, expectancy, it tells you if you have an edge. Calculation two, max consecutive losses, that tells you the losing streaks you can expect. And calculation three, max drawdown, that shows you whether you will actually pass or fail a challenge. Most traders are guessing at these numbers, but now you can calculate them instantly for your strategy. And now you understand the mathematical reality of trading edges and variance. But here is the critical missing piece. How much should you risk per trade? Because if you risk too little, you're gonna waste months trying to pass. You're not gonna be making any real money during that time. And it just increases the psychological pressure of making mistakes, getting impatient and doing something stupid. Or, you know, you could risk too much, obviously giving you a high risk of failure, and then you're gonna spend a fortune on challenge fees. So what is the optimal risk to balance speed with cost? In the next video in this series, I'm gonna show you the exact calculation to work out the optimal risk per trade. As I built a calculator that balances speed, cost, and pass rate for your specific strategy. And it will show you precisely how much to risk to get funded as quickly but as cheaply as possible. So go watch that video once it's live and don't start a challenge until you've watched it.